lower garrison bonfire. Oh, is that what we were going towards? That Probably. one? Probably. Potentially. Probably. Yeah. I'm just fucking with Nikolai until he decides to stop pussyfooting and get down here. Mm-hmm. He's kind of glitching. Uh, go to the area of witch trees and frozen porcupine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, lower garrison approaches the fight with the shade, and they hinge on door. What am I looking for? The fuck was that? Right. Well, at any rate, I'm not really too invested in oh. trying to get a uh, the the fourth license moist night. Oh man. I have no life gems. It might be worth my time to go farm okay. some uh, to go back to town and buy some. So I'm going to give you a tip for Hexer Nikolai. Yep. He doesn't know what to do if you play Ring Around the Rosy. That's cool. I have no intention of ever going back into that area. <coughs> okay, we're probably going to have to come through at some point. I don't know. That's not the challenge path, is it? If it is, then yeah, ah, I guess we'll fuck. have to. You okay? Uh, Witch Tree decided to come say, uh, join the party. Oh, uh, mm hmm. And asshole is healing himself. We Got ought him. to try. <sighs> we ought to try uh, co-oping that area if possible. Yeah. If you can get back here, that'd be okay. Um, okay. I can put my sign down. All right. I can I can hit my way, make my way back there. Can I quickly? Okay. Buy a bunch of life gems. Ow! Fuck. There we are. Those porcupines. Okay. Not friendly. Did did they, more damage to me than attacking them. Yeah, just being near them, not even attacking them. Yeah. Uh, so apparently the area that we were um that that area is not anywhere near the uh the challenge area apparently. Yeah, I've already I've already found the challenge area. I know where that is. Oh, so you found the fifth bonfire. That's what. Kevin 2686 okay. is saying. Yeah. Uh, probably. I'm more focused on taking care of the porcupines first. Right. What a okay. lame enemy to die to, too. Kind of oh, like you died porcupine. to one of them? Uh, I died a while ago. I've not been really accomplishing much of anything. I have... I'm oh, making my way back to that area so I can put my sign down. I I swung at the porcupine three times, hit it once. Ah. Uh -huh. Ugh. Are covetous demons bosses? Don't know. Okay. Fascinating question. So sassy and bitter right now. Yeah, I don't like this area that much. It's, I don't... I don't feel like fighting porcupines is particularly fun. No. It's a good way to... I mean, you're basically dying to a glorified rat. Yep. At least the witch trees are pretty weak. Oh! Apparently you can back attack him. That was really impressive to watch. I leaped down onto its back and stabbed it. It was... It felt good. That's good. <laughs> I will tell you if this area is actually worth coming back to. Dig in the katana business, though. Katana feels really good in this area. Not a mimic. Good. You just stab... Well, actually, you don't stab things. Katana's entirely a cutting weapon. Never mind. Yeah. I was thinking I'd... of the rapier for whatever reason, which is a completely different weapon, I know. I've just built up, like, tribean pole. <laughs> Thank you. There's, like, a, a a path up ahead. 
this is surprisingly this is a surprisingly large area actually huh like now that i'm here uh-huh yeah but uh there there's the area with the torches that's totally the challenge zone it's gotta be okay okay yeah i'm not finding anything particularly oh i mean uh, the fourth moist night is down there i believe okay um but we have to fight the covetous demon Covetous demon, covetous demon. It wasn't the covetous demon, the like fat roly poly critter. Yeah. Huh. Guess he makes a return. It's sort of like Weird. fighting that one boss, like the old dragon rider guy or whatever, but way less impressive because it's a fucking demon that you don't care about. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go spend these thirty thousand souls on something. I'm okay. sick and tired of losing them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we we could give the last boss a shot if you want to. Yeah, um, I kind of do. Okay, or we can... I don't know if you want to keep messing around with that area, because I'm almost there now. Yeah, I mean, we could. I, I've got time? I don't know, it's kind of one of those, it's like, I want to get through this area. Just yeah. because. You'd be done with it. Oh, you know what? I should have enough twinkling titanite that can I, I can finally start upgrading Lois's armor. Uh, Lois's armor? Yeah, Lois's yeah. armor. Oh, not Lois's armor. Uh, Alone's, Alone's armor. armor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Because you can get Lois armor, from what I was reading. You just basically, like, you summon all the Lois knights, and then you just let them die over and over again in that area. Or, like, to the, to, the iron, to the Ivory King over and over again, and that's how you farm it. Huh. Makes sense. Yeah, pretty pretty glorious, isn't it? Kind of douchey. I assume. Yeah, I assume. I assume you're fighting something tough right now. Me? Yeah. Why do you ask? You're silent. Uh, no. I think I got dis. I'm getting disconnected from the internet over and oh, over. Oh, I again. see. You just yeah. like went silent for a while, and I was just like, huh. No, I was just saying, no, nobody would want to, like, farm up the Lois Knight armor anyway, because who the hell wants to look like a duck that bad? Uh, some people probably do. Some people really like being ducks. Well, okay. Aside from furries... Oh. Uh, not yet. That pretty much rules it out. Yep. Uh, thought so. Hmm. Can't step to the bird, man. Now that I have got you, like, coaxed into my snafu, let me tell you about my political opinions. Illegalize everything. <laughs> By the way, if you go out of your way to get a flame weapon, they do more damage in this whole zone, from what I can tell. God damn. Maybe not. This that is probably false. Over with. How much damage? <laughs> that was 195. Oh, wait, what? Where's the last witch tree? Wait, what? Where the fuck you? All right, he's gone. Why is there a witch tree there? I don't know what a witch tree is. It it's sounds those... scary. You know when big um... things that drop down and shoot a bunch of magic at you? Yeah. Oh. But I was hoping the answer wouldn't be. Oh come the fuck on! Really, you're gonna hit me with an ice rapier shot? Fine. Okay. They're actually surprisingly weak for enemies, but... The witch trees? Yeah. That's good. Got that to co keep me company. Is Bird's first name Harvey? No. He's <laughs> not Harvey Birdman. I'm not Harvey Birdman, no. Wait, what? I appreciate the reference, though. I really liked Harvey Birdman. I like all those shows that just reused old, like, Hanna-Barbera footage. Made it all, like... Gritty and stuff. Oh, the shows were always so fun. Did, okay, I put my sign down. Person? By the uh, by the first um, by the porcupines. I found a person, and he emoted at me. Uh, that means you're going the right way. That guy is not a friend. He's not a friend. No, that's a trap. Figured as much. Well, alert, by the way. <laughs> 
Fuck. I'm I am currently working on executing him. Fuck the porcupines. Fuck the porcupines. Wait, is he like pure neutral until like he until I finish murdering him? I think so, yeah. Weird. He's good at dodging though. Oh, I mean, you gotta be good at something in life. And now I back attacked him. And now he's running away from me really fast. <laughs> and now he's gone. That's Why? really weird. <laughs> To get something to look forward to. You look forward to fighting that guy. And then he Estes. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Okay, um, how do you want me to summon you, by the way? I don't know. Any way that works. Hmm. I don't I don't know I don't think we can summon this area. I could be wrong. Holy shit. I can't believe I lived. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, I put mine back at the elevator, the first one, but I'm working my way through this zone. Yeah, I guess it, I guess it's for me, dropping down in any way, shape, or form is not a right easy task. Right. <laughs> oh, now he's aggressive. Okay, summon sign disappeared because I'm probably getting invaded by the, the hexagon guy. Hexer, that's what it was. Not hexagon. It's not like... Oh, this guy so is he's... a pain in the ass. Are you still fighting the Hexer? No. Oh. Lance Man. Oh. Lance... Dixky. <laughs> it's a very interesting name. Like Lance Armstrong's cousin, if first names meant that they were cousins. And he was a very unpopular dude. Shit. God damn, these porcupines are like the anti they're like the least fun enemy to fight. They fucking they there's like no dignity in fighting a fucking porcupine. I don't gain anything from fighting fucking porcupines. I don't feel like I'm a good person for killing porcupines. Alright, let's get over here and and hide. Wow, this guy's like the ultra coward. Who, the shade? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, he's supposed to be a tricksy little bastard. I don't enjoy fighting him. He's not hard, but he uh -huh. takes forever. Visions hmm. of enemy, then charging required ahead. Oh, shit, there's the Lance guy who's gesturing to me. Oh, you're in that room? Yeah. Okay, I'm. Did are I just, you human? Like, fight him? Put your sign down. Okay. Uh, I can't, because I'm still getting invaded by the Hexer. Wait, he's still around? Yeah. I didn't actually oh. fight I haven't actually found him to fight him. Oh, that's bad. It's fine. Um, Lance guy's not aggressive yet. In fact, it's actually a really, really, really odd situation. I'll tell you all about it someday in my autobiography. Birdcatcher is currently scared. The Birdcatcher story. I'm taking I hit under the stairs and used a damn life gem. That was the lamest way to do this. I think I'm gonna die. I don't move. Okay. Okay, this I'm looks promising. Really not enjoying this fight in any way, shape, or form. I just killed the Hexer. Congrats. Like, he's not very I, strong. I still can't put my sign down in this area. Wait, now I can. Okay, my sign's at the bottom of the room. Okay, do you have your uh, name engraved ring on or no? No. Might as well throw it on. Okay. Uh, name engraved ring is set to the goddess of love. Okay, it's on. Use a repair powder too. I am not seeing it. All right. Well, let's just keep working through this area. Yeah, I'm just trying to deal with uh, Lance Lance Dixon. Yeah. Bonfire at back part of this area across small bridge. Yeah, it's really easy to get to, actually. Okay, so I'm going across the bridge, going across the bridge, and... I'm really curious about this guy. There it is. Okay. Does he have unlimited healing items? Did they say? I don't know. I didn't check that. 
just constantly healing healing himself. Oh yeah. Oh, that one's got pain in the ass. Yeah. So he's got he's got an Estus flask, and I with honest... unlimited charges apparently. That hurt. It's I very possible. See him. Whoa! Whoa, I think he just sprayed a bunch of oil on my face. Room sucks to fight him in. Doesn't feel like there are any good rooms to fight him in. Yeah, he's, he's the Lancer, and he's in a giant hallway. It's like, yep, that's about the best room for him to be in. Uh, and he's running away again. Oh, well, he probably just runs away when you deal enough damage to him. It's generally based on time, from what I can tell. Huh. But, yeah, doing damage seems to trigger the running away. Yeah. Because he's fleeing from me yet again. Oh, it was a corrosive urn. I see. All right. Yeah, bust up your equipment. That sucks. All right, we'll mm -hmm. pull this lever and get ready to fight him some more, I guess. What the hell is he doing? Just, I guess I made progress. There we go. Is he dead? Okay. Under no. Him? Oh, no. Okay. Would you believe <laughs> that this guy has, like, a fuck ton of health? Because he's got a fuck ton of health. I would be surprised. I might have... He might be out now. You mean Estus Flask? Nope, he's starts? running away again. Oh. Fuck. Fuck! God damn it. Thought I had him on the ropes, too. Son of a, a bitch. massive bitch. Well, at least open up the gates. Whatever the yeah, gates do. Yeah, open up the gates useful. <laughs> Like, technically, I could go to the bonfire and leave, because he's not an invader, is he? Uh, no. But I think he's a unique enemy. I don't give a shit. He's probably not going to come chase me if I just go to the bonfire. Uh, like, I don't think Rude. he drops anything. I've been fighting him. Well, one way or another, I got this gate open, which leads to a somewhere. Yeah, the gate probably seems like some sort of approximation of progress. <laughs> yeah. Where I'm just really curious. Uh, I don't know. I want to I want to kill the lancer. I want to I want to ban I like I want to I want to I want to kill him too, but dude's a pain in the him. ass. He just runs everywhere. He's so full of shit. He's almost as cowardly as I am. No, man. He beats you on the cowardly part. Because he hides really... next to enemies. You can't yeah. do that. You don't have the capacity. True. Where did he run off to? I feel like he ran off to where the covetous demon is. Oh, fuck. I've made a grave miscalculation. Yeah. Whoo-hoo! <laughs> I fell off. I thought I was backing down a bridge. Was not. <laughs> <sighs> I have no idea where he ran. You all, you always kill him before uh, you open up the gates. Huh, because uh, I opened up the gates. Yeah. Apparently, he just runs into the next area if the gates are open. Oh. Well, he's fucking gone. I don't, I don't know where he went to. On my end. He's just, he's just booked it. Alright. You want to try going through the gates and summoning from there? Yeah. I'm going to head off there. I mean, once it changes areas, we'll probably be able to summon. It still floors me that we can't summon, period, even with the small white soapstone. Yeah. This is a very interesting looking little chamber that I'm in right now. I will put my sign down beyond the gates in, like, the first chamber that you enter. Yep. Tell me if you've run into, um, Lance Man. Though, okay. I might have reset him by resting at the bonfire, I'm not sure. 
I didn't rest at the bonfire. I think he just I think he just ran off. Well, like I had him run off for me too, but I don't know where he spawns technically. It's the icy covetous demon. Oh my god. He ran off to hang out with the covetous demon and fight me here. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. Uh I got basically one shot by him. And then the covetous demon like landed on my face to deliver the killing blow. Goody. So here's the here's the story. Here's the moral of the story. Just don't go anywhere near that white guy. Sounds good. Yeah. He's a little a human effigy, heal up at the bonfire, and then pretend that that all never happened. Luckily, once the gates open, it is just a straight shot to fight the covetous demon. It's true. Oh. Uh, I mean, there's some witch trees in the way, but, like... They're not... They don't hamper them. you that much. They're not very yeah. strong. Their attacks are slow. You just run and you're fine. Okay, I don't see okay. him with a covetous demon. Um, oh, maybe on your end it's different. Yeah, you want to put your sign down? Uh, do you want me to put it in the in that first chamber? Yeah, or kind of the, the, the okay. foyer. Yeah, it's in the foyer. The full garage. I'm not betting on it. I assume the you didn't have like a boss name pop up. It, the dude was just there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. Well, let's just fight him. Yep. I remember his attacks. I remember him being quite easy. Here's hoping he continues to be easy. Yeah. For the most part, the Covenant Demon is not a rough fight. It's just pain in the ass. I suppose. Mm. Gotta stay away from that attack and... or not. That's this flask up. I mean, if I can kill the, like, the dragon, I should be able to kill this guy. Basically, just a slug. I can handle defeating a slug. Just throw a bunch of salt on him and call it done. I do a lot of damage. That's good. I do some. Actually, why am I? Let's uh, let's two hand the the sword. Put away the shield. We're not going to need to shield anything. Yeah, probably try to do it. That attack is fine. Deal with it. Okay, heal up. Gonna be honest, this was actually probably the easiest fight of the entire DLC. This is really really easy. So. Apparently my rapier, you know my uh -huh. like uh counterattacking rapier thing that I use? Yep. That thing does 500 damage to him. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty glorious. <laughs> yeah, I I ruined him. I do with the dranglick on a on a when I'm two-handing it that's about 560 damage, so I've yeah. got like three more attacks and he's dead. Yeah. I'm just glad this there is, is such a attacks. fast attacky Sword. Yeah, your your attacks are ten times faster than mine. Be All wary. Right, Ivory Warrior Jimbo. Ring. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and get everything. So the Lois Knight should be in this area. I'm fucking dead. Really? So fun fact. That dude. Rapier always oh, yeah. stabs directly above porcupines. Always. Oh. Fuck, there's the porcupines. Yeah. So I start, okay. I, I lock onto one, poke it, poke through it, poke through it, constantly. Fuck. I died to the porcupines too, I kept fucking missing them. Yeah. Wow. That same damn thing that happened to you, I guess. Yeah, I seriously just kept stabbing right over their heads, over and over and over again. Well, I'm gonna wager that the covetous demon is unique. Probably. I don't know. I wanna, I wanna bet on it, but I don't know. Okay. Yep, totally unique. Oh, that's good. I mean, I would hope that it would be unique. It looked pretty damn unique to me. At least the Lancer guy didn't like follow you. That's what I was expecting you to say. Was that that guy followed you here? Or like set up a damn trap or something.
like that dude's like a perma shade. Very strange. You have to keep, you have to keep going to an elevator and get up and get an upward climb to get to the night. Okay, but we're on our way. Apparently the porcupines yeah the porcupines are awful. I do not I like know. these things. Yeah, they're the lamest fucking enemy to fight. And they do ridiculous so, you damage. You know how I told you about the skeleton wheel? Uh-huh. In uh Yep, these are them, aren't they? The these are them, yeah. Yep. These guys are so lame. They're not fun to fight at all. I don't know how I lived. I, I think okay I'd actually it. say they are one for one. The, the same, exact same enemy? The same level of just like, fuck this, fuck, fuck you, fuck <laughs> this enemy. Mm -hmm. I don't... Uh... Have you guys seen Bloodborne DLC? Nope. That's a golem. I left, then right. Okay. Left. Opens oh, is this a, a shortcut door? It is a door. It is a shortcut door. Oh, oh, thank God. Sort oh, of. oh, God. Porcupine. Huh. Well, oh, cool. I mean, it's a shortcut one way or another, though, honestly, I don't um, think I... fuck on! Unreal. So, when you two-hand the Dranglick sword, it does a swing, not a stab. That's great. That's really fucking awesome. I'm glad that it did that. Well, let's go ahead and use the shortcut of ages, I guess. You know? Yeah. Wow. wow. That's a combo to be reviled. <laughs> What's up? Uh. Golem? Yeah. Porcupine. Oh, man. Why? Because fuck you, that's why. Jeez. I'm okay, gonna play anything else tonight. Retrieval. Hell if I know. Yeah, no idea. Okay, kind of depends so I go on up here. Yeah, how I know. Bird stays up, and I I still feel really nauseous. So like most things are kind of beyond me right now. Mm-hmm. Ah crap. Go ahead and kill this golem before things get too hectic ah, around fuck. here. Yeah, my axe swings over the porcupines, too. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, man, there's like a million in this area. It's okay. At least they don't bring the golems with them. Uh, that's true. And I appreciate this fact. Okay, it looks like axe time. Do I like Smash Brothers? Eh. Smash Brothers doesn't make me happy. That's the problem. <laughs> I don't Smash enjoy... Brothers is a good game. It's a good game. For the but... right people. Yeah. Like, if I really enjoyed Smash Bros, mm -hmm. it'd be great. I think, like, I don't know. I get very, very competitive when I play competitive games like that. And so I become a shitty friend when I play Smash Bros. And then I feel really bad. So, so that's I, how I feel about Smash I Bros. I played the most recent Smash Bros with uh, mm -hmm. one of my, oh with a couple of my friends. Only one uh -huh. of them had ever played it before. All right, easy enough. Okay. Uh, problem is she didn't explain any of the rules, and we were playing a new game mode. So imagine uh -huh. playing like Mario Party, where the person kept skipping the rules. Oh god damn. Yeah. So w was it I, because they didn't care, or was it because they thought they wanted an advantage, or what? A bit of both, I think. Oh, jeez. But she she always plays really cheap. So... Oh, uh -huh. God! Oh, what I fucked What sort of hell on earth is ahead for us? Uh, those golems... don't stay passive. No. Why would they? I leave now? Okay, he does not like me. But that's okay. Oh! The golems do, like, a clap attack. Never seen that before. <laughs> Don't want to get hit by that. I like their sumo sumo kicks. Those feel really funny. But those uh, are very silly looking. So effectively, you're given like a Mario Party board, uh -huh. and you like go around the Mario Party board collecting mm -hmm. power ups and stuff to increase your stats. Uh -huh. right. it you also like have that, to uh... collect 
characters. I wasn't told okay. this one, and mm -hmm. I wasn't told you could do it. So, so like all she of a collected... sudden, somebody busts out like collecting a ton of shit that you didn't know you could do. I had three characters. She had twelve because mm -hmm. she collected all of them. So even if like I could Kirby smash the shit out of her, uh huh. Didn't good matter. luck trying to Kirby smashing the shit out of twelve characters at once. <laughs> it was just such a such a pain in the ass. So eventually, like I'm just like, you know what? No, it's mm -hmm. fine. We're just not playing Smash Brothers again. She's also the <laughs> kind of person... Uh, you know the... Uh, the corn area? The... Mm -hmm. Pretty much the generic go-to Smash stage? Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, she would play that level by hiding. And if you'd, like, come at her, she'd run away. Oh, really? Yeah. It's the area that's so easy to fall off constantly, too. Huh. Isn't that the one with the... You play on the ship? I love that yeah. map. I love that map. I have entered into a situation of fuck this. That map has been around since the first Smash Bros. Classic. There's tears ahead. Oh! Okay. This golem activated himself. That's cool. Yeah. That's why I was sort of panicking earlier, because... <laughs> oh, was not... wow. That attack came out of nowhere. I was not ready or appreciative. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, I don't want to do this area again. Let's fail. Let's fail using Estus Flask. Switch over to Life Gems. And we'll just play this safe and sound. So, Bird? Yeah? This area sucks. This area does suck. Oh. Maybe not. It doesn't suck as much as I thought. Oh, yeah? Bring what a happens? bow. Bring a bow. I don't have. I don't have enough arrows. I I can I can bow it up. God damn! This golem's attacks are really fucking shitting me up right now. Okay, final destination is the best stage. I like a little I bit of variance. I don't know. It's okay. It's I've... it's too easy to cheese if you're a ranged character sometimes, mm -hmm. and I don't appreciate that. I feel like final destination is the try hard stage. Try, like, um, Final Destination is great for, um... Making it as fair as possible, I guess? I uh, know. it's good for, it's good for 1v1s. Yeah, I would say it's great for 1v1s. It's, like, the most, like, yeah. Because other maps, like, you know, you just play the level more than you play the other characters at, at yeah. a certain level. Uh, what's one? I love the Ice Climber stage. Um... Mm -hmm. I think, uh, doesn't, yeah. Hey, we're yeah. on the other side. Doesn't, doesn't Ice Climber speed up after a while? Yes. It speeds up until somebody dies. Yeah. So I think once we, like, demanded that nobody fight. Uh -huh. And if you fight, you like. Survive it. We, we had a referee, <laughs> and, um, if mm -hmm. you fought, your controller would get unplugged. Nice. And, like, that was, that was the rules. <laughs> it was really fun. Mm-hmm. Except for one of us was Kirby. Oh, we banned that's Kirby. so lame. I know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hyrule Castle map in the original Smash. Is that the one with the tornado, or...? That was the one with the tornadoes. It was a really yeah. good map, yeah. I, I really liked Hyrule in the... Uh, I liked the design of Hyrule in mm -hmm. the second... In uh, Melee. But uh -huh. it was so large that it definitely did kind of prohibit... There were some Flights. maps that were utterly obscenely large in like later games. I really liked Poke Floats, even though I knew Poke Floats was stupid. Uh, that game, that map was stupid. That it was map hilarious. Was so dumb. I liked the idea of it, I think, more than the actual execution. Mm -hmm. I just remember Poke Floats being like, oh, "Okay, everyone is just gonna fall to death." Yeah. Which I guess is kind of fun in a stupid way. I think that um, I don't know. The, I like the uh, the Donkey Kong maps a lot in every in every Smash Bros I've played. Yeah, the Donkey Kong maps tend to be fun. pretty good. They uh, like there there's one like the, where you're on like what is it called like the River Rapids or whatever. That one's amazing. Yeah. Um. Where, like, if somebody falls in the water, they're just done. 
Is, that's it. I actually really liked the F-Zero map. I thought the F-Zero map was cool. The F-Zero map was awesome. Yeah, there's no doubt is that map being oh. a really good one. The you sheer okay? lack of a bonfire here sucks. It's getting pretty rough. I am definitely out of Estus Flasks. I've killed all the things that were on the bridge. That was a bunch of things that say impossible or secret. Praise the sun and then gorgeous view. Yeah. This view is great. What the hell am I, am I supposed to do from this point onward? I'll turn around. Oh, I see it up there. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, this area kind of sucks. Bonfire, please be here soon. I don't Hello, think there's a bonfire. bonfire. Oh, what I, the hell? I don't God. think there's a bonfire this way. Yeah, good luck. Damn it. It's ch chihuahuas. Oh, fuck. There's another one. At least they, like, announced their presence. Which I appreciate. That's true. And I can also one-shot them. I've noticed that, like, this this part of the map is, like, definitely a lot easier to handle them on. There they just kind of rolled down the hill. Wow! I did 2,000 damage with the backstab. Woo! Nice. He did not survive. If you backstab a flame chihuahua... I, I mean, don't think all, you can backstab back. a chihuahua. Yeah. 99% back. I have to Shit. agree with Sniper GW. All uh, of the flat top roofs in this snowy area sounds like a terribly stupid idea. You know what? what? This. Uh, All so if the you look flat at the top grooves? Roofs. roofs. Oh, roofs. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a stupid idea. <laughs> this DLC actually does uh, skyboxes really well, by the it way. It does, yeah. The level itself, I mean, honestly, this this is one of the most like random architectures I've ever seen. Yeah, and it doesn't make games any sense. that I consider to have like particularly bizarre like level layouts and like like I don't know 90 percent of the kingdoms or whatever I'm just kind of like how would anyone ever find their way around this area <laughs> like in Aww. real life oh wow what? that would have been incredibly useful you know those three guys that attack you oh yeah. that's a shortcut oh that's incredibly clever what is yeah oh, you get to make a shortcut later on you'll see it. You'll like it. Oh, there's the Chihuahua. That was cool. That right. Chihuahua has a delightful Jingle Bells walk to it. Found the last dude. Finally. Oh, you found the last Lois Knight? Yeah. Awesome. That's we actually good get news. to fight a boss together tonight. Yeah. And then we can decide if we want to do the challenge maps. <laughs> or fuck mm -hmm. it. We'll figure probably, it out. Pro probably I probably should. want to do it, honestly. Yeah. We've, we've sucked enough time into this area. We should see it through. Because we've got... We've got two challenge areas left. We did the one in the, uh... In the... Old Iron King DLC. Yeah, But we haven't done the one here. Fun. And we haven't done the one in the, uh... In the first DLC, either. 